If you want to create your own shapes and add details to shapes, then you can also use Boolean operations inside of Design File. So over here, you can see that I got some shapes and now let's understand um, the Boolean operations first. So I'm going to go around, bring in a polygon right here and I'm just going to go around, copy and paste this, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate this out. Alternatively, I can also press Alt on my keyboard, drag this out right here. So these are three different shapes right now, but if you want to combine them, you can select it out all. And over here on the top, you can see Boolean groups is an option. Once you go around, there are different options as you can see right here. There's like union, there's subtraction, intersection, exclusion right here. So if I were to click on union, then now all of them become a single shape as you can see right here. So let me just copy and paste this out. And now these are two different shapes again. Another thing is their subtract. So the one on the top will subtract out the bottom portion right here, as you can see, if I were to do this. So let me just go around, bring in an elliptical tool right here. Let me just go around, elliptical tool, click and drag it. So over here, if I were to go around, subtract it, then this is what you have. Besides that, you can go around, select out polygon right here. This is what you have. Select this. And if you were to intersect it, the intersection will pop up right here. So over here, you can see that this is what you have. So if I were to go around onto the exclusion option, then what happens is that the intersection points right here, that will be excluded out right here. So if you have a lot of shapes right here and you just want to flatten out the shapes, then you can select it out all. And over here, you can go around and press flatten all. And what happens is that everything gets flattened out. So they are not separated so the strokes are still there, unlike when you actually um, add in union for this one. So if you were to add in strokes, you can see the strokes right here. But um, uh, with the union, all of these will be gone as well. But these are single shape over here, as you can see. So that's how you can use the Boolean tool and you can make uh, interesting shapes with this. So if I were to take in an ellipse right here, so press shift and drag it to make a perfect circle, press control C and control V, and this is what you have right here. If I were to select this, this uh, shape is on the top, as you can see. So if I were to go around, the top shape will cut out the bottom. If I were to select uh, the subtract selection, and there you go, you got the moon right there. So let me just go around over here and bring in a star over here. So let me just delete this and bring in a star over here. Click and drag out the star. And I'm just going to hold Alt on my keyboard as well, and then drag this out. So let me just go around, press uh, Alt right here, click and drag to make a copy right here and then rotate this out as well. So let me just rotate this out. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is select these shapes right here, keep it here just like this. And now I can go around over here and make a union. And you can see that there is a complex shape right here out of the basic shapes that you have. So now you can go around adding strokes to this. So if I were to go around over here, add in strokes, this is what I have. I can go around and then increase out the stroke size right here. You can also go around right here and select out different shapes as you can uh, different shades right here. And there you go. So that is how you can use Boolean operations for shapes inside of design file in Figma. So if you guys learned something as always, as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.